We'll now to our special report, Inside Sandstone. It's the sleepy outback town that in the past month has been overshadowed by a mystery. Just how did prospector Raymond Kellett die and what's happened to his wife, Jenny? Only a few dozen people live in Sandstone, most drawn to the remote spot by their love of prospecting, just like Raymond and Jenny Kellett. The area where the couple was last seen is about 25 kilometres southwest of the town. The only access, Payne's Find Road, an unsealed dirt track that runs between Sandstone and the Great Northern Highway. It's riddled with abandoned mine shafts, a lasting legacy of the early 1900s gold rush. Paul Bennett is a local prospector who's lived in Sandstone for 15 years. Paul believes there are thousands of unsealed mine shafts in the area. A lot of prospectors could get caught out with these. He says the region can be treacherous for those who are unfamiliar with it. At night time you wouldn't even see it. You walk straight into the open bit. If you fall down there, you wouldn't get back out. This is the abandoned mine shaft where Raymond Kellett's body was found by authorities nearly two weeks ago. And about a kilometre in that direction was the campsite where he and Jenny had been staying. Search crews canvassed about 10 square kilometres of this area, but no sign of Jenny was ever found. Some locals say the disappearances are hurting visitor numbers in town. Diane Jellett normally runs a food stall, but it hasn't been opened because numbers are so low. It's great to see the tourists here, but a lot of them have dropped off because I think because of all this or the rain, we don't know. It's um, very sad. Police say it's unlikely they'll return to Sandstone in the near future, but their investigation into what happened to Jenny and Raymond Kellett is far from over. In Sandstone, Ben Hennessy, Nine News.